Judo's back in Russia for the Kazan Grand Slam. And home favourite Irina Dolgova faced Japan's Tanaki Funa in the under 48 kilos final. Tanaki won it comfortably with this Osai Komi for Ippon, showing the skills that make the former world champion a favourite for the Tokyo Olympics. Marius Weiser, president of the International Judo Federation, presented her with the gold. Lukumi Chikvimiani from Georgia is the under 60 kilos world champion. But he's been without a podium on this year's Grand Slam Tour. He put that right in Kazan, battling through a tough series of preliminaries before defeating Russia's Robert Mishvidi Obadzi with a golden score Ipong in the final. Sergei Solovitchik, vice president of the IGF, made the presentations. Japan's Abe Uta is one of the biggest stars in world judo, and Francis Astrid Neto could do nothing to get in her way in the final of the under 52 kilos category. Abe's performance won our Woman of the Day award and a gold medal presented by Jean-Luc Rouge the General Secretary of the IJF. Looking forward to Tokyo, Abe said, there are lots of strong opponents in front of me, such as Rio Olympic gold medalist Malinda Kelmendi and Francis Amadine Bouchard. But the biggest opponent is myself. I will work hard to conquer myself. Russia's Murad Chopinov faced Belarus's Dmitry Minku in the under-66 kilo final. And with this Ipon, he secured Russia's first gold medal of the tournament and our Man of the Day award. Mikhail Cherkasov, the vice president of the Russian Judo Federation, presented Chopinov with the gold. To be honest, it is one of the best feelings to win at home, he said, especially today as my dad and my brothers were here, which made it even better. I couldn't afford to lose because those close to me were here watching. Elena Rusevo is only France's number two and won't be going to Tokyo, but she was still too good for Russia's Daria Mejetskaya in the under 57 kilo final. Her first Grand Slam gold in six years was presented by Pavel Nikolaev, the president of the Judo Federation of the Republic of Tatarstan. Day one in Kazan was packed with spectacular high action judo back in front of a socially distanced crowd. Dynamic performances from Russia's home team guaranteed excitement, with no stone being left unturned in search of Ippon.